Hello and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over a brand new feature that was added to Movie Magic Scheduling 5.2 which is the ability to add images to report and strip layouts. So I'll go over how to add images to not only breakdown sheets but elements as well, how to set which image will show up in the report and strip layouts, and then how to add images in the designer. Let me show you how to do that. So previously in scheduling, we've shown you how to add images to the breakdown sheet. And you can do that simply by double clicking this image well area and it brings up the uh, image manager. Now, previously you were only able to add images to scenes. But now, if I collapse this, notice that all of your categories are here. So you can add images specifically to elements. So let's say if you want to add an image to a character, you could select that character, hit the Add Image button, select the image that you want to add, hit Open. So now that image is added to that element. And you can do that for location, set dressing, props, anything. But what if I close this and I notice that I've got the two images here on the breakdown sheet. And when you're adding images to a report, one limitation is that you can only have one image display on the report and strip layouts. You can't have multiple images display. So I'm going to go ahead and double click here to bring this back up. Notice this green bounding box around the yellow bounding box on the image. So if I select this one, you see this green outline and the yellow outline. Well, if I go up to Actions, Use as Report Image, the green bounding box goes around that thumbnail. So that's how you set which image will appear in the report or strip layout if you're adding this to it. And let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Design, Report Layouts, and let me just go ahead and open breakdown sheet number one here. And just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and remove this props box and delete that. And go over here to my elements and select report image and drag it over here. And what I can do is select this box and then hold down command or control on windows and select this box. And I'm going to say make same and then I'm going to say line it up next to each other. Oh, Sorry, wrong one. There we go. And so now it's all looking nice. And if I select this, if I double click it, it says show image for sheet, location, script day, sequence, unit. So with sheet selected, it's going to show the image that's at attached to the breakdown sheet. If I had location selected, it would show the image that's attached to the location for that particular sheet. So I'm going to leave it as sheet and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. And notice that the image and of the cab appears on this breakdown sheet. And that's because we set that as a report image in the image manager. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you can do that for all types of reports. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it. Um, you can do it for prop list, cast list. And the difference with these, though, is that if I select a cast list, this is a by category report. So this is specifically for the cast category. And if I go ahead and add in report image, I'm just going to drag it here. I'm just going to open this up as an example. Notice that it's showing the image for cast members and that's grayed out because this is a specific report for cast members. So it's only going to show images that are attached to cast members. Okay. So I can go ahead and delete that and close out of here. And that goes the, the same for if you're doing a prop list, it'll only show images attached to props. And those are for specific for category reports. Now, if I close this, that's the same for if I go up to Design, Strip Layouts, and I open a strip layout. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to delete this area here by clicking and dragging, hitting Delete. And I'm going to go ahead and add in Report Image. Make it a little bit bigger. And if I double click, you can notice again, you can select Sheet, Location, all these different categories and click OK. Now if I preview go to the next page you notice that the image appears. So anywhere that there are images on breakdown sheets you're gonna get an image 
where you placed it in the design. If you have any feedback for us, you can send that feedback to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com and our community page to find ways to follow us on our social networks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>